Good morning, friends. It is Wednesday, April 22nd, and we're going to do some math. So we're going to do some more work on bar graphs and picture graphs. So remember, the picture graphs have pictures, and the bar graphs have bars. Imagine that. All right, so let's read our problem. It says, Martin asks the students in his class, what is your favorite sport? He makes a picture graph and a bar graph to show his results. How many students does Martin ask? So first of all, what are we talking about? We're talking about kids' favorite sports, right? So if I ask you what's your favorite sport, you might say baseball. Oh, that's probably mine. Yeah, baseball's probably mine. Um, but, so we're talking about kids and their favorite sports. What do we know? We know all of this. The, the story in here doesn't tell us much more. It just tells us that he made a picture graph and he made a bar graph. So we know this. And then the question is, how many students does Martin ask? So what are you going to do? How do you think you would solve this problem? Let's think about it for a minute. How could you, looking at either the bar graph or the picture graph, solve this problem? All right, so I'm thinking there's a couple things we could do. I could just count, right? I could count all of the pictures. So I could go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right. So I could, I'm going to put that up here. One thing we could do is count all the pictures. And that equaled 20 students. And that would answer our question. But I know sometimes when I'm counting, sometimes I make a mistake. I have to go back and check. I might miss a number, especially like the 15, 16s and the 13, 14. Sometimes I make a little mistake. So I'm going to think of another way. I could count this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 1, 2, 3, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, and I, I see something. I see 4 plus 6 equals 10. And I see, I'm going to put a plus into all of these. I see that 7 plus 3 equals 10, because remember we've been doing those number partners for 10? And then 10 plus 10 equals 20. Ha! I could have done it that way. All right, I know it seems a little crazy, but it actually makes sense. I also could have looked over here, and then I don't have to count. I can look at my bar graph and just say 7, 4, 3, 6. And I can do the same thing. I could use my number line too, right? So if I go out on my number line, and I start at 7, I'll put a 7 down here, and then I'm going to go 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, plus 3 more, 1, 2, 3, 12, 13, I'm going to put a little dot there, 12, 13, 14 and 6 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and I still got to 20. So those are all ways to answer this question. What other information could you gather from this bar graph or this picture graph? What if I said to you, who, what was the favorite sport of all? What did kids like the most? So looking at the picture graph, it's a little tricky because I would think it was the footballs, but then when I count them, I know it's really soccer. If I look at my bar graph, I can tell right away that most more kids liked soccer than anything else. If I asked you how many kids liked soccer or tennis, we could do seven plus three. If I said, what was the least favorite sport, you could look right away and see that it was tennis. All right, so that's using bar graphs and picture graphs 
to get information. Have a great day. Keep learning alive. Do something nice for somebody. And I'll see you tomorrow. I miss you.